All right, I'll shut the fuck up. Let's give away for Pro Love. And the next run of Easy Punks, Back to the Tigers! Release the Kraken! Well, uh, what the project is called, it's called Thrash of the Titans. And, uh, and uh, this Thrash of the Titans 2, it's the second one that we've done. The first one that we, uh, we organized was in December of 2007. And essentially what it is is, is uh, um, a good friend of ours, Tom Reardon, who's uh, uh, an old punk rocker, local punk rocker from some, uh, some bands like Hillbilly Devil Speak. Uh, he's in a band uh, called The Father Figures right now. He came up with this idea where uh, local musicians uh, would sign up for certain um, instruments in a band. And, uh, and, the, and then these names would be put in a hat and, uh, and somebody would pick one name out of each instrument, you know, vocals, guitar, bass, uh, drums. And, uh, and those names picked out of a hat would be put in a, you know, in a band. And from there, uh, most of the, in like, you know, with these people that are picked out of a hat, most of the time these people have never even met each other before. So putting them in a band uh, and having to create an, a band uh, from the ground up in a span of like two months time is a challenge in itself. Um, and so with the Thrash of the Titans thing, uh, we basically, you know, we pick these, these band members out of a hat. Uh, we, uh, we give them two months to organize a band under the umbrella of punk rock music, whatever they think punk rock music is. Um, and the only criteria is that they have 30 minutes to write, uh, they have to write a 30 minute set of original music and they have to cover one song. And uh, it doesn't matter what song it is, it just has to be one cover song. And, um, and basically, they have two months to organize their schedules, to create an entire you know, band from the ground up, and then they have to perform on one day. And um, uh, at least with this time around, there were, uh, the crowd uh, kind of decides who they think the best band is. Um, but to kind of touch on, on the way that everything is set up, uh, I started uh, trying to actively find people uh, who are involved in local bands and, uh, you know, people who are just kind of general showgoers, music lovers, you know, under the, uh, you know, people who go to punk rock shows out here. Um, I, in February, I, I kind of like, you know, sent out my tentacles and tried to get people to sign up for this Thrash of the Titans 2 thing. And uh, basically, I had uh, about 26 uh, band members signed up for, for this project. And, uh, you know, like I had said, we put, uh, we, had, we had put like six people in uh, vocals, six people in bass playing, guitar, drums and we pick one name out of each hat and those people are, are set in a band. And, uh, and then uh, we have, we ha throughout this time we had this forum online where people could submit band names, you know, whatever type of band names they want, whether they're, uh, you know, they're offensive or just kind of like off the wall. And then, uh, and then these bands have to pick three names out of the, the band name hat and they have to choose one band name. So the cool thing about the whole thing is that nobody, you know, I don't decide who's in the bands. Fate, you know, whoever the, runs the universe, they kind of decide who's in the, you know, who's, who's in these bands. And, um, and, then, uh, and then from there they have two months to, to organize everything. And, uh, and none, you know, throughout this whole two-month process, nobody knows what is going to actually come out in the end. Sometimes uh, people don't work together very well. Sometimes, uh, you know, time schedules lapse, and, uh, and there's not a lot of time for, for them to organize the bands. But the bottom line is that everybody who signs up has a slot on this specific date, and they have to play. You know, whether they show up is up to them, but there, you know, there, there's a spot for them to play for 30 minutes. And, uh, and we, just, uh, we just had the, uh, the second Thrash of the Titans in uh, September, on September 25th, and it was, it was a huge success. I mean, five bands out of six bands ended up playing. Uh, one of the bands ended up dropping out at the last minute, um, but, uh, but there were five bands who played. 
uh, the crowd was, uh, you know, the, the, there was uh, probably about 60, 70 people in the crowd. So it was a really good, you know, really good, uh, uh, a lot of people showed up, a real good turnout. And uh, the bands had a, had a blast. Uh, they, you know, people were still kind of talking about it a couple days after. Some of the bands are still continuing to go on and play, um, you know, just to, to continue having a good time with, uh, with the experience with the whole Thrash of the Titans thing. So, yeah. It, you know, it's a unique thing. It's not a, it's not a general battle of the bands type of uh, experience. I mean, it is a battle of the band show, but uh, the fact that... Uh, you know that these aren't general bands. You know these aren't these are musicians involved with local music, but they're being thrown together to kind of create a band from the from the ground up in a real small amount of time. And uh, you know, organizing a band in two months to play a 30-minute set, it sounds easy, but it's really not. It's really not. You know, it's time-consuming. People have uh, the people involved have they have families. They have their own you know time schedules. Uh, so it's really it's really difficult to organize all of that in only a two month time period, but um, you know, but seeing the outcome in the end at the at the final show, um, seeing how they honed their you know their skills and their and their dedication to the project, to see it to the very end and play these you know this 20 30 minute set, um, just to see. The excitement in their, you know, their in their personalities and and how excited they are to be on stage. Some of these people have never been on stage before at all. You know, some people are involved. You know, are in local bands. Some people are actually just showgoers. You know, who have always wanted to be in a band. So here they they had a you know an opportunity to be a vocalist. You know, or play bass in a punk rock band. And so we kind of, you know, we, we, we create that to, uh, to, to sort of uh, give that outlet to, you know, it's sort of an alternative creative outlet. But, um, you know, the, the, unique, uh, the unique kind of uh, angle of uh, none of these people knowing each other and, and nobody knowing what to expect when the show comes around. You know, the bands are so involved with what it is that they're creating that they have no idea what the other bands are involved. And the people coming to the show, they, they, all they know is the name of the bands. And some of the names of the bands just kind of like off the wall. So, uh, so yeah, so it's, it, it's a really unique kind of battle of the bands sort of. Uh... Yeah.